안녕하세요. 저는 브라디입니다. 반갑습니다. So again, guys, hey, what's up? This is Brad with Spike Fitness, and it is a joyous, joyous day here in South Korea for me. Speaking of the joyousness, what I am so joyous about is the fact that I had my uh, my four record APFT. That's my Army Physical Fitness test. Um, got to do those bad boys twice a year. And uh, I got mine out of the way for the next six months, which is cool. Um, you know, basically uh, for my age, I'm required to do 36 push-ups, 42 sit-ups, and I have to run two miles in at least 17 minutes and 42 seconds in order to pass the test. Um, I decided I would go well above and beyond, and I did 40 push-ups. I did 44 sit-ups and I ran my two mile in 16 minutes and 53 seconds, earning me 193 points out of a possible 300, and you have to get at least uh, 162, uh, yeah, 180. You have to get at least 180 to pass. So some of you may say, hey, Brad, that's not very impressive. And you're right, it's not very impressive. But the biggest win for me today was the run um, I've had a series of injuries, you know, as of late, stuff with my calves, stuff with my groin. So, in light of some of those issues, it's really good for me, and I'm very happy that the run went well and had no issues while doing it. So, that for me is a, is a big win. Um, I, in my heart of hearts, I believe that I maybe partially suffer from compartment syndrome, and so I think that's what the issue with my calves is at times. Comes and goes, sometimes sporadically. Anyway, all that notwithstanding, I'm very happy, and I'm going to move over, over to the gym today. Uh, I've taken a few days off, and again, that's also why I'm so excited, because in preparation for this APFT, you know, I dropped my body weight a little bit so that I could be a little bit lighter for the run and have a bit easier time, and um, I also gave up training for the last couple of days just so that I wouldn't be unduly sore, again, in preparation for uh, this, uh, this test. Now that it's over... Feel like I can resume normal activities, um, you know, going to the gym and such. So I'm excited about that, and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff together. I'm gonna maneuver on over to the gym, and uh, gonna do some some liftings, and I'm excited about it. So here we go. All right, cool. So made it over to the gym. So that's my uh, my trainee, my Padawan, if you will. He's saving my life. <laughs> I'm doing deadlift today. Getting back in after doing PT test and taking a couple days off. So I'm going to do some band stuff again today. And get the setup here. This time I'm doing double band. Where before I only had it under the one layer. But as you can see I got it under both layers now. So um, pretty much double whatever the, uh, the resistance was before. I don't know how much it is. But it's gonna get stupid quick. So, first set did okay with just the bar, just the uh, the bar, and then um, the the 55, one set of 55s on there. Now I have two set of 55s on there, so I think it's like 264 ish. Yeah. 
Alright, I kind of realized after the fact here that I, I didn't really do anything to close this video down. So what we did is some, some deadlifting and I, I did a, a, just a little bit different setup of the bands. And I think that this really just kind of shows the versatility of bands. Um, that you can set them up in a number of different ways and, and really do different things to get different amounts of tension out of them depending on where you are um, in your training in terms of like overall progression. Um, and or you know kind of what you what you want to get out of it if you want to have a lot of intense band pressure um, versus not so much weight you know there's there's just a lot of different things that you can do so this is just another setup that you could potentially use uh, for the future if you decide to kind of set up bands and want to try to emulate some of the things that I've done um, just kind of another way to do it so hopefully that's uh, something that's helpful for, for you guys and just gives you a little idea about another way to do things uh, I always appreciate you guys checking out these videos. It does mean a lot to me, so thank you very much for checking in. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave in the chat box below. I'll be sure to respond. You guys help me out so much with all the, the likes, the shares, and the subs. The channel really has been growing quite a lot lately, and I'm just I'm just super grateful for every one of you that takes the time to check out a video, and very grateful for all of you that decide to sub up to the channel. Um, so if you're one of the individuals that's kind of you know checked out a few videos, or you're checking in here and there, but haven't subbed up yet, It'd mean a lot if you went ahead and hit the subscribe button and, uh, and join the family. That's it, guys. Remember, no matter what it is you think you can't do, like find various unique and, and different ways to kind of add some stimulus to your training and you know maybe kind of bust out of the doldrums a bit. Uh, this is something, something you can do. So, But getting in and training despite is one way you got to do it, man. You just got to get after it. Remember, you're either going to find an excuse or you're going to find a way. And I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.